In this video, we are going to learn how to export data in Excel in a .NET application. What we are going to do is that we are going to have a SQL Server database and we are going to use Entity Framework Core in order to extract that data and then export it into Excel so that the user can download it. In our case, we are going to use an MVC application, but the code that we are going to use will work in any kind of .NET application. So let's get started. Let's create a new project. Again, I'll choose MVC, so Model View Controller. Export Excel Demo, Enter, .NET 7, and Create. So the first thing that we're going to do is to go to the Solution Explorer, right-click on the project, Manage Nugget Packages, because we need to install Entity Framework Core and also the Closed XML Package, which is the one that is going to allow us to export the data into Excel. So. I will look for this one. If you don't find it here, you can always put here Microsoft Entity Framework Core.SQL Server. But in my case, I already have it here, so I can just download it. Install. Accept. Besides this one, I want to install Microsoft Entity Framework Core.Tools. Again, if you don't find it here, you can always come here and say Microsoft Entity Framework Core.Tools. And you will have it here at first and then I will install. I need to install this one by the way because I'm using Visual Studio. If you're not using Visual Studio but you're using Visual Studio Code for example with the .NET GLE, you should install this Microsoft Entity Framework Core.Design package. But in my case again I'm using Visual Studio so I will install the tools one. Now finally let me come here and write close XML, close XML which is the package that will allow us to create an Excel file. So install, accept. All right, so we can close this. Now let me create an entity. I will create a folder, add folder entities, right click on it, add class, I'll call it person. A person will have an ID and a name. And here we have those properties. Now let's create a DB context. So right click on the project, add class, application DB context. Let me paste my DB context. So here we have the code we're inheriting from DB context. We have this constructor so that we can do dependency injection. We have on model creating because we need to use the Fluent API in order to have default data on the people table. Here we're inserting three people into that table and also we're defining that person is an entity and it will have a corresponding people table. Now after that we have to go to the app settings.development.json file to put our connection string. So connection strings, default connection, and let me put a comma here before I forget it. Server.database export Excel demo DB. Integrated security equal to true because I want to log in using my Windows credential into my SQL Server instance. Trust server certificate equal to true because we are in development. Now with this, I can go to the program class. Let's go to the program class. And in here, I will put this builder services at DB contest, application DB contest options, use SQL server, and I will pass name equal to default connection, which is the default connection that we just created. With this, we have configured entity framework code in our application. Now we can go to the package manager console in order to create our database. If you don't have it here, you can always come to tools, Nugget Package Manager, Package Manager Console, and it will be the same. Now we'll say add migration initial, enter. Now update database in order to create our database. Great. Now we have the database and we have the data. Now all we need is to get that data from SQL Server. So first what we're going to do is that we're going to go to the Solution Explorer, Controllers, Home Controller. I need to inject here the application DB context so that we can use entity framework core here. So context control dot create an assigned field context. Now I will create here HTTP get a new action public async task file result export people in Excel. Then first I need the people. So await context people to list async bar file name. I need a file name of the Excel file. So I'll call it people.xlsx. And finally, I will create a method for generating the Excel file. 
So let me say private file result, generate Excel, a stream file name, and I enumerable of person with the name people. And in here, what we're going to do is that first, I want to create a data table. Remember that a data table is just a representation of data in memory in the format of a table that is with rows and columns. So we're going to put this here. Let me import system data. Then I need to add columns to my data table. So I will say data table dot columns at range new data column array and then new data column ID and then name. I'm putting two data columns because remember that our person class only have two properties. But if I wanted to add more columns into my data table, I can add them here. Each of these columns will represent a column in the Excel file. Now what I need is to fill the rows. So I will use a for each, I will iterate each person and create a new row for every single person. So that is what we have here for each person in people that are table rows at person ID and person name. Notice that I have the same order, first the ID here and first the ID here, and then second the name here and second the name here. Now, finally, we're going to use our close XML to generate the Excel file. So let me use this code. I'm instantiating an Excel workbook class. You know that every Excel file has sheets. So we're going to add a new worksheet and I will add the data table and then I will use the memory stream so that I can generate the file itself. So using memory stream, then I will say workbook.save as and I will pass the stream and then I will return the file, return file, a stream to array. Then I need the content type. The content type is a very long stream for this type of file. So what I will do is that I will just paste that here, but don't worry because alongside this video, you have this code in a GitHub repository. So you can just copy and paste it. And finally, the file name, semicolon here. And that's it for this method. And finally, we have to come back to our action and say return generate Excel. And I will pass the file name and then the people, semicolon here. All right, so we're almost good to go. I only need to go to the views and add a new link so that people can actually download the Excel file. So let me put this code here. We have an anchor class, bottom, bottom primary, ASP action, export people in Excel, which is the name of this action that we have here. And then the text is download Excel. So let me press Control F5 and test our application. Let's see that I can click on this download Excel button and the file has been downloaded. Let me click on it. And here, as you can see, we have our data. We have ID and name, and we have our three people, Felipe, Gloria, and Robert. If you want to learn more about C Sharp, buy my Udemy course today. I also have courses on Entity Framework Core, Blazor, among others. Link with a discount to all of my courses in the description of this video. Thank you.